in math, we've been working on putting shapes together to make new shapes. So it's been kind of fun to be able to see new shapes form. So today we are going to be given a shape, but we're going to have to draw lines to see what shapes were used or put together to make that shape, okay? Karen put some triangles and rectangles together. She drew pictures to show what she made. Color to show how Karen put the shapes together. So the directions say to color rectangles orange. So go ahead and color the rectangles orange. All of the rectangles. <clears throat> How do you know which shapes are rectangles? Because they're long. Okay, very good. They have long sides. Because they have four sides. Very good. I like those words. They have four vertices and four sides. How else do we know it's a rectangle? Okay, it does not have a curve. You're exactly right. And sometimes this two sides can be, well, all the sides can be the same size. You're exactly right. Can a square be called a rectangle? Yes. Sure. So we should have colored this Then the next direction says color triangles purple. So go ahead and do that. Please make sure you have wonderful coloring inside the lines. How do we know each or which shapes are triangles? They have three sides. You're exactly right. So is this a triangle? Is this a triangle? Yes. What does tri mean? Three. Is this a triangle? Yes. They have four sides is this a triangle? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Good. They have four sides and they have three vertices and three sides. Okay, I want you to look at the two shapes we've made. She used two triangles and a rectangle on each shape, but look at what it made all together. What is this shape? It is a trapezoid. What is this shape? A hexagon. So did she make the same shape using two triangles and one rectangle? No, she didn't. She used the same shapes, but she moved them around to make one big whole shape that was different than the other. Um, so, how is a trapezoid or the first shape different than the hexagon or the second shape? Yeah, sort of. But what's a bigger difference? Mm. 
Not really, okay. because the rectangle is in the middle and the triangles are on the outside, off to the side. Yeah, it is a little bit bigger. Okay, the triangles look a little bit different. Um, they. So like um they they put them together with um in this in kind of different ways like one's like two down one's up and down the other side. Mm -hmm. One's a little bit thinner. One where they both have points. Okay, how many points does the trapezoid have? Um, or how many vertices? It has, whoops, it has four vertices. How many vertices does the hexagon have? So is that different? Yes. Okay, we used the same shapes, but they ended up having different vertices. What is the same about these two shapes? What's the same about making the trapezoid and the same about making this hexagon? They both have rectangles. And they both triangles. have rectangles and they both have triangles. You're exactly right. They both have sides. They both have sides. They're all shades that we know because like the, the last thing that we did was like not a okay. shape where you combine them. There you go. So they are shapes that we know. We know that this makes the outline of a trapezoid and this shape makes the outline of a hexagon. So they are shapes that we know. Okay, they all have vertices. Okay, very good job, first grade. Let's turn our paper over. Okay, so now I want to show this and this in my circle. So where am I going to draw my line to show these two shapes? Middle. Down the middle. Okay, so do you see this line, this over here, and this over here? Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. So now let's go to the next one. It says show two rectangles. These are not rectangles? No. So did I draw it correctly? No. No, I did not. You are going to have to check yourselves today for screen. Because yesterday a lot of us did not check ourselves. Does this shape look like this shape? No. So can it be right? No. 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 It cannot. So you need to check yourselves, mathematicians. Some of us got in too big of a hurry yesterday to try to do our math. Where can I draw my line so that I have two rectangles? Like this? Is that for a little bit better, maybe? Yeah. Like this? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So is this a rectangle? Yes. Like this? Yes. Okay. What if I did this? It's still the same, but it's just a different way. It just matters if it's you're exactly right. Okay, so just like yesterday, you need to be careful 
of how many they are wanting, okay? You might have to sit and try it. And you guys did um, sit and try after you um, after a while to be able to see and make sure that you got it done correctly, okay? So you need to make sure that you look up at the directions and you have what it is asking for, okay? I don't care how you draw it, as long as you have those shapes. Does anyone have any questions? 